And good evening, everyone. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Eric Fink. A TikTok challenge gone seriously wrong, and tonight a 12 year old boy is in a Tucson hospital on a ventilator. His body is badly burned, and you will hear firsthand from this boy's mother about their ordeal. News for Tucson's Connor McGill is live tonight from Banner University Medical Center. It is a story you'll see only on four. And Connor, you spoke to the boy's mom and his doctor. Well, Eric, a very scary situation. A young boy on the road to recovery. His mother still trying to process what happened. I woke up to just him screaming. And I woke up so fast that I kicked the dog uh, gate out of my door frame. And when I saw him, he was on fire. Tiffany Roper recalls the horrifying night last week. She discovered her youngest child, Corey. He was wearing a polyester shirt that lit on fire. In her shock, she rushed to her son's aid. I ended up grabbing um, my hose faucet from my sink and just spraying him down with water and flooding my kitchen until 911 got there. And unfortunately, my daughter heard it as well. Um, so she woke up and got a towel and soaked it in cold water and put it over him to try to help with the burns. Banner Health doctor Mark Matthews says the quick response from Tiffany and her daughter were critical. It was absolutely life saving what they did to help save his life. After Corey was rushed to the hospital, Tiffany soon learned her son was partaking in the viral fire challenge on TikTok, a challenge where kids set rubbing alcohol on fire. Now a 12 year old boy has second and third degree burns across parts of his body. I noticed immediately that these were so deep that it was deep second degree to third degree burns. That's him now. Now more surgeries, skin grafts and Corey's very long healing process begins. If you survive this challenge, if you survive these horrendous burns, this will be a lifelong process. That means for the rest of his life, he will be dealing with the burn scars, the potential for contractures, which mean you can't extend your arms, etc. Move your hands, your fingers normally. This is a lifelong process that he will be dealing with. In her sadness, Tiffany sharing an important message to parents. Even if you feel like you've taught them every safety measure in the world, drill it into them until they are physically sick of you. I, I want these kids, when you say fire safety, to roll their eyes and be able to spout off everything you're supposed to do. Drive them absolutely insane. Doctors say Corey will be hospitalized for another 40 to 60 days. The family has set up a GoFundMe link to help offset the cost of hospital bills and other expenses. You can find that link on our website at kvoa.com. Live from Banner, Connor McGill, News for Tucson.